Trina and Saucy Santana dropped their music video Tuesday, October 4th of 2022, and I was one of the first people to watch it and comment on it, and it's absolutely terrible and horrific and horrifying, and it was right in time for Halloween because it was a freak show in that video. Anyways, this music video is racist, offensive, and the epitome of a modern-day minstrel show which pretty much describes the Bonnet Brigade and their rainbow flavored allies. Make sure you click thumbs up by clicking thumbs up. You have the trigger stimulate the algorithm. More people see the video. Click thumbs up right now. Subscribe. Choose all notifications. Leave a comment below you and just saying hi. Here's the deal, right? So some of you are going to say, well, where's the video? Me. I will post a link to it in the description box. If it's still up, it should be deleted by now. Truth be told. But if it's still up, I will post a link in the description box and the comment section. If you watch it, say Meat Magazine sent me in the comment section. That way, she'll know where you came from. And hopefully, she'll come back and see my video and hear what I had to say about her ass. So the song is a poor attempt to shame and chastise black men for not voting. And who better than a 47-year-old slinking neck Ku Klux hood under the lace front wearing black race bashing over the hill, exhausted vagina having has been like Trina, the same woman who bashed black people during the protest, the same black woman who said that she was a Dominican last time I checked, to sit up here and pander to me and tell me what the hell I should do, the same black woman, for the record, who made fun of the idea of going on loving hip hop and then turned around and had her has been behind up on the show for about three, four, five, six, seven, fifty, eleven seasons now. She joined the cast. And not only did the heifer do a song about voting, she brought along her sidekick, Saucy Santana, who's a BBW, a big bloated whale. Now, a chubby man with a Brazilian butt lift who wears fake nails and imitates black hood rats is the person who's going to tell me what the fuck to do with my life? I'm going to listen to you? Really? Anyway, the name of the song. Did I say the name of the song? Psh, the name of the song is, quote, no voting, no vugging. Vucking with a V. Not with an F, with a V. And I know this term, vugging, better not catch on. In fact, it better catch fire and burn like a bundle of sticks. No reparations, no vote. That's what I'm on, okay? No reparations, no goddamn vote. How dare you attempt to shame me into voting for nothing but contempt because the Democrats hate black men. Black men voted at over 90 percent for these idiots over 90 percent. How did they repay black men by saying thank you black women because black women voted a few percentage points more than black men did in Democrats favor with black men it was like maybe 92 percent for black women it was maybe more like 97 percent. So they were like you know what F you black men black women thank you. And they have all these different programs where they're giving black women little pennies and stuff like that. You know, some UBI, universal basic income experiments and stuff like that. They have the corporations that are giving black women a little bit of money here and there and whatnot. And completely neglecting black men. I guess their prayers are with us. <laughs> but how dare they attempt to shame us into voting for nothing? The crazy thing about it is. These people are so ignorant. They don't realize that pulling a stunt like this will only cause black men to vote for them less. The only thing they did was step on their own foot. For you to sit up there and imply that nearly 50 year old Trina and her gay friend Saucy Santana denying black men of sex unless we vote. If that's not manipulation, if that's not gaslighting, if that's not abuse, then what is? But it's repulsive, it's ignorant, it's racist, it's condescending and downright counterproductive. This is why the Democratic Party is a failure now. In fact, if black men want to vote for Trump just to spite the Democratic Party or vote for a Republican period to spite the Democratic Party for what they've done, get your booty to the poll, this bullshit and all the rest of it. I understand. I'm not going to do it, but I'm not mad at any black man who never votes for a Democrat again. In fact, I, if it were up to me, I would say I, I, no, no black man should ever vote for a Democrat again, no matter what they promise at this point ever again. But at the end of the day, if you're voting for a Democrat or a Republican and you're black, you're an idiot, in my personal opinion, because, you know, you're not going to get anything from either party anyway, truth be told. So, I mean, I don't really, really care too much what the hell you do, but this is all my opinion. But how dare they make a music video telling black men, if you don't vote, we won't sleep with you. That's some crazy, weird shit. Like, uh, black men could never get away with doing something like that. They would lose their jobs. They would lose their endorsements, etc. They, they wouldn't. Their career wouldn't survive. It would it, be the end of their career. But these privileged individuals can get away with it, of course. 
But anyways, let me know what you guys think about it below. Click the thumbs up button. By clicking the thumbs up, more people see the video. The trigger simulate the algorithm. Subscribe. Choose all notifications. Make sure you post a comment below even just saying hi. If you like to play the game and like to play here, let me know you made it until the end of this video. The secret password to say in the comment section is do better. Trina needs to do better. Saucy Santana needs to do better. The evil Democrats need to do better. That's for damn sure. This is just disgusting. Shout out to any black woman or any LGBT person that doesn't fall for this foolishness. This is divide and conquer. For real. Talk about propaganda. Wow. I wonder if this came from the top down. This is pure evil. They're relying on the stereotype that black men are controlled by their penises. And it's black women and gay men that are helping to promote it. Remember brothers, don't sleep with your enemy. And anybody who does something like this is definitely not a friend of yours.